Writing a resume is a daunting task for anyone, and it can be especially daunting for teachers. You might be asking yourself, how do I highlight my personal skills? What do I do if I'm new to the classroom? And how do I make my resume stand out? Don't worry, 240 is here to help. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through three important things. What to put on that resume, how to make yourself stand out, and then we're gonna get into some writing tips. First, let's go over the heart of this thing. We've created a handy checklist that lays out all the basic things that you're gonna want to include. Check this out. At a minimum, we're going to include our phone number and email. If you have an updated LinkedIn or other job-related social media account, definitely include that as well. This is your headline, but let's go ahead and give an elevator pitch of your skills. A profile is a short two to five sentence summary of your skills, qualification, experience, accomplishments, and importantly, career goals. This just gives the interviewer or person reading your resume a quick overview of your top accomplishments and what you bring to the table in your years of experience, or if you're new, what you're going to bring to the table. Now that those two are down, we'll get into your education. So you list your degrees, any relevant minors, such as maybe a minor in child development, as well as the college or university you attended and what year you graduated. Next up is your certification information. List each certification you have in the field of education. You can list your certification as its own section, or you can combine your degrees and certifications into something like an education and certification section. It's going to be a little bit tailored to who you are. And if you've used 240 study guides, there's a good chance that your certification section is looking pretty nice. Anyway, experience is up next, and it'll give them a rundown of your job history. List your job history and experience in reverse chronological order. You'll start with your most recent or current job, and then you'll go back in the timeline. You want to include your jobs, uh, any volunteer titles that you might have had, the company, of course, or organization that you worked for, and what time frames you were at what places. Keep in mind that you don't need to include every job that you've ever had. Focus on the ones that relate to the job that you're applying for. This can include volunteer work, tutoring, or student teaching experience, especially if you're new to the classroom. Okay, now that they have your history, let's highlight your best accomplishments. Beneath each job or volunteer title, list three to five bullet points describing what you accomplished in that role. Try to focus mainly on achievements and stuff that happened outside of your standard job duties. And it's okay if these aren't like major achievements, but think about what you achieved at each job or experience and what you could bring to the table at your new job that you got from your old ones. Finally, in this section, we're gonna give them an impression of your special skills and expert abilities. Think about the knowledge and skills that you have that would set you apart from other teaching candidates. Are you trained, like, especially with gifted and talented students? Uh, are you highly effective at parent communication? Do you know how to develop quality content for virtual learning, perhaps? List these special skills as bullet points and include a little bit about them. And remember that you should be ready to discuss anything that you put on your resume during the interview. All right, next we're gonna make our resume stand out a little bit. Now this can be a little tricky, but we'll have fun with it. We want our resume to look modern and easy to read, but not too out there. Okay, some school districts will look at each resume hand by hand and others are gonna have it like a software that looks through all the applications. In either case, including buzzy keywords is gonna help you pop a little bit. Let's do a word wall of some buzzy terms that are gonna help you stand out. Student-centered, differentiated instruction, small group instruction, intervention, data-driven, technology, growth mindset, classroom management, interdisciplinary instruction, distance learning, flexible, collaboration, problem solving, mentor, family and or community involvement, engaging, hands-on learning. Look, regardless of whether or not a school district uses an applicant tracking system, your resume should include words and phrases that align with the job you're applying for. Even without an applicant tracking system, the person looking at your resume will likely scan quickly, looking for specific qualifications and those keywords we were talking about. Incorporating words that were in the job description and key phrases that you saw when you applied will help your resume stand out to whoever's reading it. All right, you've given them the most important information already at this point, but we still have some tips that you're gonna wanna keep in mind, and let's get into those right now. First of all, let's use dynamic verbs. 
When you're describing your roles and accomplishments, start your bullet points or clauses with words that show action, like facilitated, implemented, or analyzed. If a word or sentence feels a little bit dull or flat, try to like look up some synonyms and get something more active for that verb you used. Look at other teacher resume examples. Now this is a good idea because the internet is full of sample resumes that you can use for ideas. Look for phrases to use, general formatting, take note of what you like and don't like about what you see, and then combine those ideas to make it your own. Our next tip is to make minor adjustments and tailor the fit to each job application. Chances are you're gonna to apply to several different jobs at very different school districts. You don't need to make an entirely new resume from each application, but a few minor changes to tailor it is gonna make a world of difference. Okay, and finally, here's one last important tip. Have someone proofread your resume. Ask a trusted friend, maybe a professor or even a relative, and they'll closely look at your resume for mistakes and provide quality, constructive criticism. Let's check out this example resume quickly and do exactly that. We're gonna make sure that we have all of our important concepts included. Let's call it out, starting with our headline, which is name and contact. Yep, following that up with profile, sure. Education, certification, experience, accomplishments, skills, and that's what I'm talking about. Look at those dynamic verbs. 240 has resources to help you every step of the way. Check out the links below. We're gonna help you continue your teacher journey.